first off, I just want to say I vote Maryland's flag as the sexiest, most badass of the state flags. Look at it, it's so cool. Good morning, kiddos. Welcome to Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, yeah, I just came here just because well, not just because. I'm actually here to visit a friend of mine who goes to college here. What are we waiting for? Let's go explore the city. It is Saturday, April 18th, uh, 6.03 a.m. Eastern Time. It is 55 degrees. It is a lovely day in Baltimore. So let's see, uh, Baltimore. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know anything about Baltimore. Um, the Orioles play here, the Ravens play here, the Orioles play baseball, the Ravens play football, I think. The thing is, I literally have just just a little under six hours to kill because, because my friend Jose wanted to meet up in front of the Baltimore World Trade Center at noon. It's 6.05, so I have all this motherfucking time to kill. On top of that, I haven't slept <laughs> because the stupid Amtrak train is going blah 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 blah. And to put the cherry on the shit Sunday, the guy next to me was sawing logs. <laughs> so I couldn't sleep at all. But doesn't matter. I will use willpower to get me through the day. <laughs> I hope. Good morning, Baltimore. I don't know how the song goes. It doesn't even follow this melody. I just know it's from fucking Hairspray the Musical. Good morning, Baltimore. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm gonna stop now. Day. So right now, the plan is to meet at the Sip and Eat Diner, we would call it, or uh, I don't know. Uh, but the point is that it's one of the uh, uh, more renowned places here in Baltimore. So to get there, we are right here, and it's in Alisana Street. So we must go down to the roundabout. Well, here they call it a rotary, but whatever. And then we go right. Let's go! <laughs> These cherry blossoms though. I think they're cherry blossoms. I hope they're cherry blossoms because I just called them cherry blossoms. Fine. Damn. I think I might have accidentally walked into the fancy part of town. <laughs> I just jaywalked in front of a police officer. <laughs> but in other news, the s I, I am walking towards the east and the sun is in my eyes. It is a pain in the ass right now. Why sun? Why? Stupid sun can't see shit. Because of the stupid sun we can't appreciate Baltimore. Why the fuck would you do this to us? Stupid sun. Stupid sun. Now those are pretty. They look like dolls' houses. Cobblestone. There it is, the sip and bite. It's supposedly very famous in the area. Let's see if that's right. Well, how about that? Guy Fury himself came to visit this very place. Wow. Talk about convenient coincidences. By the way, this omelette is divine. It's a uh, spinach, bacon, and ham. Now that is cool. That building is supposed to look like a boat. Run, 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 run. <laughs> 
Hopefully law enforcement doesn't catch me. <laughs> they never do. Jesus. Damn it, Jose, I am jealous. You get to live in this beautiful ass city. Well, I get to live in shitty Worcester. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I love Worcester, but... Really though, I never expected Baltimore to be this beautiful. Quiet. Alright, well that's the Baltimore World Trade Center where I am to meet Jose in approximately a little less than 3 hours 30 minutes Apparently it's the tallest pentagonal shaped building in the world Interesting Well, the stupid sun is just gonna get higher and higher and higher as the morning goes on might as well use the, the tacky adventure hat, which is also my favorite hat. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, jeez. One of the disadvantages of being, uh, living in Worcester for the past few months, since, it, since it's been so cold, yeah, I'm not used to this. It, it is 66 degrees, and it feels like Arizona shit. Baltimore, you are so sexy. Looks like a race is going on. It's the uh, Charm City something. I don't know, I've been seeing signs of it everywhere. But hey, it looks like they've got a pretty good attendance going on. Holy shit! <laughs> I literally walked maybe like five minutes and they're still going! Damn! So, Jose suggested that I visit Fort McHenry before I visit him, since according to him there would be great views. So, hey, might as well. It's only a mile that way. Uh, it's more or less 20 minutes of walking straight ahead. So, it shouldn't be much of a problem. Let's go! Why, hello there, little starlings. Yeah, me too. Wait, no, ah, fuck. <laughs> I would have never expected a national monument like, like uh, Fort McHenry to be next to this huge industrial area. Hmm, who knew? Yeah, definitely not Francis Scott Key and the other people involved uh, in the in the battle that took you almost 200 years ago. Damn, over 200 years ago. Welcome to Fort McHenry. Thank you for your safety. No skates, no climbing on the cannons. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Um, I bet that's ain't more for the kids, because... Kids. Aha! Uh -huh. And that must be... Well, I'm guessing it's a replica. Cause like, no way has it been in that perfect condition for over 200 years. Well, I'm guessing that's a replica of the actual Star Spangled Banner. Nice. So I just came out of the visitor center. Uh, they have a lot of pretty neat things in there for, uh, to show and... Uh, they have a lot of uh, pretty neat things in there to show the history of this, uh, very interesting place, Fort McHenry. So for starters, um, I thought this took place in 1812. Actually, actually, no, it took place in 1814. Um, September 14th, 1814, I think. Um, not, but it was during the War of 1812. So that's what I assumed. Um, so it makes this place significant. It's uh, where Francis Scott Key wrote the national anthem. So this is where the Battle of Baltimore took place. Uh, the British and the Americans kicked each other's asses. And at the end, uh, well, th they raised that American flag. And Francis Scott, he was on a boat. He saw it from a distance. And well, since he saw it waving triumphantly in the wind after 
after the Americans were the underdogs, he was inspired and thus wrote a poem. <laughs> Fun fact, gave it the tune of a drinking song. And thus, the stars bangle better. And if you think about it, if you were to go back in time uh, when it happened, you know, it would have been pretty scary seeing the Chesapeake Bay with a buttload of British naval ships just bombarding the Americans' asses with everything they had. So this is the very center of the fort. And that is where the flag is. Ooh, secret stairs. Let's go. No ceiling, watch your head. No shit, it's three feet high. I've got an hour and 15 minutes to go back to the Baltimore World Trade Center. We'll say, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. <laughs> I mean, really though, I don't want to be late. What the hell is up with that random ass pillow floating in the middle of Chesapeake Bay? Well, it's more of an airtight tarp thing. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Do you know what it is? If you do, comment below, because I don't know what the fuck. So how about that deus ex machina in its most innocent form? Ah, a Girl Scout bake sale. Ah, and I was so thirsty. And they had water. Thank you, Girl Scouts of America. Ah, oh, I forgot. Ah, for me to get, for me to get to the World Trade Center. I have, it's right, for me to get to the World Trade Center over there. I have to go around all this big ass pier or port marina, whatever the hell it's called. And I have to do that in under 35 minutes. There's no time to lose. I want to beat him to it because <laughs> I'm a punctual motherfucker. So here we are. And now we. Alright, well this right here is the guy that I've been talking about. This is Jose. Hi there. Alright, so Jose, where are we going? We are on our way to Camden Yards, Camden which is Yards. the place of the beautiful Baltimore Orioles. Mm -hmm. Great place to be. Fantastic. We'll see more when we get there. Alright. So, tell us about this fabulous and charming city of yours, Baltimore. So, I see how you say charming. Yes. <laughs> Baltimore is known as a charm city. Um, lots of people would argue it is a world's greatest city, but then again, many people argue their city is the world's greatest city. Precisely. It's okay. I mean, Baltimore has a lot of history behind it. Mm -hmm. It's a really small town. You know, it's kind of like on the up and up and up on its way going on. It's all going through a lot of renovations right now, but yeah. it's beautiful every day. People you hear, people here are pretty nice, you know? Now, we do get a reputation for being kind of like um, dangerous or whatever. Shady, yeah. Shady as hell. You, know, you typically just don't go walking at night. You know, that, that's just my rule for like any situation. Get a buddy. But Baltimore as a whole has treated me very nicely. There's lots of really nice things to see. And Gilbert would attest to like he's already liked it. He's already oh, yeah. liking it. Oh, right. Yes, of course. That right there is Babe Ruth. This is where the Orioles play. Kaka, kaka. <laughs> that was so stupid. From that. From where? I saw the Orioles play the Yankees from like over there, and that was Derek Jeter's last game. Oh! Yeah, that was on the news, I remember. Let's see, where are we right now? Right now, we are at Johns Hopkins. As you can see on your right, that is the Milton S. Eisenhower Library, better known as the library that came out on House of Cards. <laughs> Moving on. Oh shit, that's right! That's true, yeah, yeah. Look at here, you see like the beach. This is where all like, the Hopkins kids like to gather when they're not studiously in the library, working their asses off, mm -hmm. like mental cheaters. <laughs> um, here we have the president's first house, the first president's house, I should say. By president, I mean president of the school, not president of the country. <laughs> um, all the buildings here at Hopkins are kind of modeled after this style of architecture, so uh -huh. keep in mind that most of them are like brick buildings. One of 
my favorite parts on campus. It's called the Gilman Quad. It's a little bit of a walk, but I mean, it's like right here. It's gonna be really nice. You guys came on a beautiful day. Today is alumni weekend over here at Boston. And everyone is buzzing for lacrosse. Lacrosse is one of our main sports here. Um, and everyone comes by to kind of see the game. So right now there's people times three They're walking around on campus. As you can see from over there, I know if you want to zoom in mm -hmm. or anything, you see everyone just hanging out on, in front of the freshman quad, eating, socializing, mm -hmm. talking about anything that doesn't have to do with school because we don't want to talk about school. <laughs> All right, this is why it's one of my favorite cupboards. So you'll see it and you'll be impressed. Oh, that is lovely. Gilman Quad. Like Gilman Quad. Like That's Gilman Building. And this is where Frank Underwood was when he was giving his speech in that episode of House of Cards that I was talking about. Yeah. So this is the Sheridan Library. But anyways, just imagine a huge podium here. Imagine Kevin Spacey talking and like doing <laughs> an acting justice and stuff. <laughs> and imagine this like CGI'd and like made to look different, but it's actually just obvious. Yeah. Uh, let's go this way. So, as you can see, the lovely Hopkins girls walking around. <laughs> Indeed. So here you have another really great place on campus. Mm -hmm. It's called the Breezeway. Uh -huh. It's actually more impressive from like that. It's now 1.45. 15 minutes to the homecoming lacrosse cup. And a single blue chair. For anyone who likes to like lay down and see the sights. Is there anything you'd like to know about the school, Gilbert? Um, how old is it? Um, it's been around since 19, sorry, 1876. Ah. So, add however many years to that you'd want. <laughs> it's more than 150. Almost 200. It's on its way. My favorite part is just walking around campus. Yeah. Yeah, really though, the campus here is divine. Absolutely beautiful. There's actually leaves on the trees now. I mean, we're not in this eternal winter that was happening. Oh, screw the winter. <laughs> No, you had it easy. Fuck you. I did have it easy. <laughs> I had like six feet. I had about less than six inches. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm marking this as a place of interest. Uh huh. Because if you look at this, if you look behind you, one. Um, this is actually the scene that came out in another movie. Which one? Known as The Social Network. And so it was like. Um, Jesse Eisenberg was walking up the steps and then across campus because he was supposed to be on Harvard, but because of Harvard copyright issues, oh. they didn't let him film there. So they decided to film it here on Hopkins, and they decided to use this part in their film. Oh, okay. I never saw that movie, though. If you watch it, you just remember yeah. this part. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very uh, picturesque setting. I like it. What's that? <laughs> What's what? That. <laughs> that is an abstract piece of art. I see that. <laughs> I don't exactly know what it is, to be honest. Nobody knows what it is, but I mean... It's whatever you want it to be. Exactly, that's the point of abstract. We have a couple of these across the Not Not this shape, but like different abstract pieces. Yeah. It's called the reclining figure. Oh shit! Kooning made this. You know? Yeah. He's a Dutch. Yeah. So reclining how? Like, is it like supposed to be like his legs up? Probably like on her. <laughs> Something like that. Perhaps. Yeah, the resemblance is uncanny. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, another quick question: uh, How many students are here now? <laughs> Last time I checked, we have about twenty thousand students 20, under thousand under the Johns Hopkins uh, University banner. So that means that we have. 
some students here, some students at Med Campus. Right. And so here on this campus, this is Homewood Campus, this is the undergraduate campus, mm -hmm. we have 5,000 students. Oh, okay. Which equals out to about 1,200 per grade. Right. The freshman class this year was actually larger than most, 1,400. Um, so that means there's 15,000 graduate students over at the Med Campus. Mm -hmm. So that's, like a, that's a lot. <laughs> Which means that, like, as like undergraduates, we get lots of opportunities to work with graduate students and like do research and um, just work with them on projects and stuff. And it's really a great resource, like for any student who comes here. I'm promoting Hopkins, by the way. You should come. <laughs> uh, is there a reason why this road is divided in the middle? Um, what do you mean? Like, uh, why there's gray bricks? So, what would you say as an engineer? Um, is it a bike path? No, actually. Um, oh, oh, it's drainage. It's drainage. Ah, ha, gotcha. Okay. It's also at an incline so that all the water kind of goes down and it's not in one place. It's not all set. Yeah, I see the drains. You're getting me to think. I like it. <laughs> I made you think for that one. Yeah. All right, that's a cafeteria. Uh -huh. It's called right there. It's called the FFC. It uh -huh. stands for the Fresh Food Cafeteria. Some people would argue that the FFC actually stands for the Freshman 15 cafeteria. <laughs> and our dorms are behind that. Mm. Over there's the, the gym on this side. The practice field and the actual lacrosse field mm. over there. This, this is what I want to show you. Oh. Hello. If you're ever feeling stressed you know, uh -huh. while you're working in a lab, you know, it's not so much the case here at Hopkins because right outside your lab, you have this beautiful piece mm -hmm. of like nature right in front of you. Yeah. People who are walking here can also enjoy the sculpture gardens. It's filled with like lots of non intimidating animals on campus. <laughs> Considering our mascot's a blue jay, we have a lot of unintimidating animals on campus. For instance, this cat. For instance, this. Is it a cat? It's a cat. This is a cat. Remember, we're here for the game. Right. It's game day. And Hopkins better win. That's what I'll be with. <laughs> Go Hop! <laughs> hey, does Hopkins have a fight song? We do. We learned it all freshman year. We don't know it now. <laughs> What's funny is that, you know, we're called the Blue Jays. Mm -hmm. Some people like to abbreviate that. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen, like, the shirts. Um, let's say, like, I love New York. It's I love NY, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So we have one that says, I love BJ. <laughs> A little fun fact. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Language was that? Maori. Ah, New Zealand. New Zealand. And just like that, Johns Hopkins won 16 to 9 and kicked the Wolverines' asses. Go hop! Going through the woods. Going through the woods. Cardinals. Cardinals. <laughs> Male and female. There's still no Blue Jays. I have not seen a single Blue Jay the entire time that I've been here on campus. <laughs> no, they're everywhere. You just have to listen for them. They're more heard than seen. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Hampton, kiddos, which is a neighborhood of Baltimore. Let's see what you tell us about Hampton. So, um, so Hampton mm -hmm. is a great place to be if mm -hmm. you're just like a regular college student. 
It's a great place to just walk around, see the sights, see kind of like the different aspect of Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Baltimore can be anything from like rock to like indie, and this is more like the indie side of it. Ah. We have everything from Charmery, which is like famous ice cream place down there. Yeah. yeah. At the end of the street, the famous comic book store. Oh, there's a comic book store. A comic book store ah. in Baltimore. What do you know? <laughs> and then everything else in between. Uh, some of them are kind of dirt. Some of them kind of cool. Some of them, there's a lot of great food. <laughs> I'm here just to show you guys a good time. Sketchy alley. Sketchy alley. <laughs> what secrets can be in stuff? Uh, well, kiddos, I am pretty exhausted after watching the homecoming lacrosse game. It was pretty intense. I liked it very much. I've never seen it lacrosse ever, ever in my life, in real life or in television. Wow, it was pretty fucking intense. Was there any last words about Johns Hopkins or anything in particular? Um, go hop! Go hop! <laughs> go hop. You heard it from the man himself. Take care. Kick ass.